Okay. Both players look like they're ready. So Evan with a really good start has already knocked him into Arsene Mahod. Gives up center stage, but quickly gets it back. Oh, the double hit there. Got Evan to drop his shield, but he's still pushing. Checking for the ledge jump right there. And gets the confirmed jab to back air. Oh, very smooth landing there by Evan. Sees the the Rebels guard. Instead of going for the smash, goes for the grab. Evan continuing to push this advantage. Kind of has uh, kind of has Altair a little bamboozled. Oh, good Tetracon response. Oh, and Altair doesn't cover the ledge. I guess he didn't think that he would make it. The dash attack will knock him off again. And this time he does get the kill. Had just enough meter left with the Arsene to get that counter out. A few more seconds and that might not have been possible. And now it's time for Altair to get his mix going. Unfortunately, he missed the no tech on the platform, which could have been quite a bit of damage. A good air dodge by Evan going high. And good use of the Rebels Guard there to soak up all that damage and get that extra meter. I like it. Ooh, but Evan sniffing out that getup attack. Very clean. Mm, yep, up the out of shield. Lots of percent. And Arsene is definitely going to come out again. Back air? Yeah, not quite enough yet. But yeah, Evan looks very, very comfortable right now. He is, <clears throat> everything has kind of gone his way with a few exceptions this game. Everything's kind of gone according to plan. And yeah, th these landings, uh, I don't know if Altair has seen a, a Krom land with uh, the B reverses like that. So, could be a problem. And the Krom scramble on the platform, buttons galore. So much shield stun and plus with that jab. Uh, Altair didn't know what to do. He tried to jump away. Joker also notoriously not the best out of shield options. Looks like Hitoshi or Altair, very, <coughs> very unsure as what character to go. I, I wonder if he was actually contemplating going Young Link for a little bit there. Certainly a lot to think about. And I heard an SD there, didn't quite see. It looked like it was a Joker SD. So that will speed up his Arsene meter, but you never want to SD like that at the beginning of the game, obviously. But, I mean, it's his tournament. Evan will take that to the bank. There's the throw. Okay, great whiff punish there with the forward smash. And he did force a, an air dodge. I wonder if he was looking for a tech opportunity there. 
It was a really awkward uh, moment right there. Ooh, that force smash almost clipped him again. And Altair is really rallying back from this SD. Only about one neutral exchange away from catching up. Oh, but he air dodges right back into Krom. Not a good look. I've been trying to push him off. Oh, and he catches him. Altair really disappointed in himself. He knows that he reached for the edge guard, and then on the rebound, he himself got killed. He's got to feel bad. And yeah, now Evan with the lead again, can push buttons with impunity. Krom has just so much uh, benefit from uh, getting those jabs and down tilts at low percent. Beautiful double parry on the down air. Good heads up there to know that that down air has two hits uh, when he does have Arsene. And he also got max damage off of it too with the up B. Good air dodge choice there. Doesn't want to get countered. Back air for the win. Oh, no, never mind. Not quite yet. Okay, Evan throwing a stock away there, trying to all in him. But still has a, another one to play with, and the no uh, bad DI on the forward air is going to get him killed. And Casey shaking his head. That's got to feel bad when you go out like that with an SD. He was playing a little bit better after that, but then uh, just couldn't get the uh, edge guards that he needed.